Hello and welcome to another session on Gems of Geometry. So guys, today we are going to take up uh, another very interesting and very important uh, formula given by one of the very famous Indian mathematicians, uh, Brahma Gupta. So Brahma Gupta existed in the 7th century, around 7th century in Christian era. And uh, apart from other mathematicians like Bhaskaracharya and Aryabhata, he happens to be uh, well known for his algebra and geometrical results. So one of the uh, formula which is related to finding out the area of a cyclic quadrangle uh, is what we are going to discuss today. So all you know, all of you know that cyclic quadrangle is nothing but a quadrangle whose all the four vertices are lying on a circle. So you can see here I have uh, drawn a cyclic quadrangle A, B, C, D and it lies on this circle, right? So, Brahma Gupta has expressed the area of the cyclic quadrangle in terms of its four sides and the formula is something like this. So, K which represents the area is equal to under root S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, S minus D. Now, many of you uh, would have heard of uh, Heron's formula, right? So, Heron's formula is uh, a formula given by a mathematician, a philosopher, a scholar hero uh, hero of Alexandria and it was somewhere around 2nd century AD. Okay, So, um, 5 centuries later, Brahma Gupta came up with his own formula where he expressed this uh, as a uh, or this formula for finding out the area of a quadrangle, cyclic quadrangle. Now, you can all see that uh, Heron's formula becomes one of the special case of Brahma Gupta's formula. That means, if you reduce one of the four sides a, B, C and the either of them, one of them to zero, then it reduces, reduces to Heron's formula. So let us discuss this formula. First we will see and we will validate this and then we'll try to prove this, right? Prove the, uh, and we will also demonstrate how we can, uh, what was the proof given by uh, many scholars. And uh, in this particular uh, video, we will be proving this using trigonometry. So let's begin the demonstration first and then we will be trying to prove this. Okay. So what we I have done is I have drawn a circle with radius 5, center O and uh, A, B, C, D is the quadrangle. A, B, C and D are four points on the circle and I have already calculated the area. You can see on the right side panel. Uh, S, S happens to be the semi perimeter. Okay, so A plus B plus C plus D divided by 2. So S is semi perimeter of this quadrangle. The values of A, B, C, and D in this particular case have been given, right? It, it's been shown here. If you change the locations of A and B, you can see all the values uh, related to you know the change is also changing. For example, in this case, uh, the value of B and C are changing. So small a, small b, small c, small d are the sides of this quadrangle. So as you move uh, any of these points and you'll see the entire value keeps changing. Okay. So very clearly s has been calculated here 14.05 s minus a, s minus b, s minus c and s minus d has been calculated as well. And then we have found out the area using the formula or using the calculator in built in this software. But uh, let us also try to find out the area of this quadrangle from some other sources which or other mechanisms which we have studied. So what we can do is we can always split this quadrangle into two halves. So let us say I join the diagonal BD and if I find out individual you know triangle ABD's area and triangle BCD area and add them it should match up with this value 48.65 okay. So let us try to do that. So how do we do it? So for that, I know that area of a triangle, either I can use the Heron's formula itself to find out the area or rather, since we have the software here, we will be using uh, the, you know, the formula of half into base into height. So for that, I have to first find out the uh, altitudes from A and C. So let's do that. Let me drop a perpendicular from A to this line. Okay. So this line. Yeah. So this is a perpendicular line on BD from A. Let me find out the point of intersection. So this is the point of intersection E. Similarly, I can drop another perpendicular from C to this line. And again, let me call this point as F, right? So CF is perpendicular to BD, you can see. And AE is perpendicular to BD, okay? 
now since I don't require these lines so I can just switch them off so I don't need them okay and now I can simply join the points using a simple line segment so A E and F C so basically now we just need to find out the base this BD length length AE length FC and find out the area of the triangle so for that we need the formula panel here so let me do that okay so now uh, the area so keep keep in mind the area which is there already calculated by this formula Brahma Gupta's formula how much is it 46.3 and let's see whether we can match this using our conventional method of you know uh, finding the area of triangles okay so let me let me first define few lengths so i'm defining d1 you can you can see on the right left hand side panel here d1 right so what is d1 i'm defining d1 as so it's already yeah so let me start with d1 is equal to right what is d1 uh distance okay distance between which two points a and e right a comma e so this is d1 so d1 is 5.27 yeah so d1 is a e distance a e okay or rather i can change the name and uh, put it like this so that it becomes much clearer yeah d a e okay so d a e is this i can put the label maybe yeah so but this label is different let it be oh sorry so yeah so i is the name of this thing but i don't want the label let, let it be so d a e is distance between a and e similarly d let's say f and c okay so f and so i'm writing f c is equal to what will that be is equal to distance distance you can see on the left hand side corner where i'm writing the formula here this location distance what is the distance distance is f and c f and c okay so a e i already calculated now i'm calculating yep d f c and d a e is done now i also need the distance between b and d for the base so i'm writing d underscore b d b d and uh, this will be equal to this will be equal to distance between distance between b and d b comma d okay so 9.97 so i have calculated this distance between a e distance between uh, f and c and distance between b and d so let us say the first area a1 the first area or i can write area of triangle a b d so let me write it as a b d okay area of triangle a b d is equal to how much half so 1 by 2 into base what is the base guys so i have to write 1 by 2 1 by 2 and into half into base what is base b d right so i have to write d b d d b d into into which one d a e isn't it so d underscore a e right here is the value 26.24 so area of triangle a b d is 26.24 you can always check it from this tool as well because we have area tool so you can always find out a right 7 c 1 oh this is our circles area so we don't need this uh, we don't need this we need the area of area of the triangle okay so let me delete it so i have to find out area area so select polygon circle or conic so i have to basically define a polygon for that so let it be i am not uh, doing that i am again calculating through our usual mechanism now i am interested in finding out area of b d c or b c d so let's say b c d you can again uh, focus here and you will be able to see this b c d is equal to half again so 1 by 2 and then into base base is again b d so d b d okay and then multiplied by the altitude fc d correct and here is the area so 26.24 and 20.06 so total area of the quadrangle would be area total area let's say uh, a underscore a b c d okay so this is the area of quadrangle a b c d will be nothing but a a b d underscore area of a b d plus area of area of um what area of b c d is it it b c d correct and if you add see whatever what, I, what is the value i'm getting 
and let's check what was the value here we had got 46.3 see it matches so here you can see 46.3 was through the calculation which calculation this calculation under root s minus a s minus b s minus c s minus d i have done that calculation and here area is coming out if i sum the area of the true two parts of the quadrangle i am also getting 46.3 so that means this area does work okay so what i can do is i can always change these values see if i change the location of uh, let's say point a right so you can see yeah 44.72 and let me put it on the same frame so that it becomes easier to view so 44.72 so whatever i do so i change the location of b so 45.58 45.58 right so here anywhere you can take d here so 37.4 37.4 so that means what we can very easily see that uh, you know this formula given by brahma gupta in 7th century yeah and and in that century he came up with this formula that area of a cyclic quadrangle can be expressed as root over semi perimeter minus a multiplied by semi perimeter minus b multiplied by semi perimeter minus c multiplied by semi perimeter minus d right so if you do that you will be getting the area which we validated by finding out the area as the sum of the areas of the two triangles divided by one of the diagonals of the quadrangle right now next what we are going to do is we are going to prove it so how do you know or how do we know that this formula works and why is it working so let's check that proof out 